Hey guys, today we're gonna do a fun one. We have the Bond Arms Grizzly in 45 Colt and 410 back with us. We're gonna be shooting some skeet and some other fun targets. Stick around, it's gonna be a good time. Well, before we get started, don't forget to check out our friends over there, Workaday Custom Gun Leather, custom made to order. Go ahead and check them out. So like I said, today we're gonna to be shooting this thing like it's a little pocket shotgun. We're gonna be shooting some clay pigeons out of the air with it. But first I wanna show you guys a general idea of what the spread's gonna look like at five and 10 yards. It's not very good. So like I said, it's not gonna be the best for shooting clay pigeons out of the air. And there's a reason for that. One, the barrel is gonna be rifled. Two, the barrel's very short. Now, I'm gonna keep it open like this so it's physically impossible for me to accidentally shoot myself because obviously the hammer can't engage if it's not even part of the unit. But I wanna show you, if you look down the barrel, that, if you can see it, is where the shell is gonna sit. It sits pretty darn close to the end of the barrel. It's gonna be sitting right about there. These are gonna be two and a half inch shells with this two and a half inch barrel. So meaning the rifling starts right about here. So that causes a couple of issues for the shells themselves. One, shot loads don't like rifled barrels. It just sends them in all directions. And two, the shorter barrel is just gonna eat all the velocity out of the shell. So there's really nothing that's gonna give it a little bit of time to burn that powder and push it a little bit further. So travel time's pretty short, throw in the rifling and well, your shot pattern is gonna be very erratic. But anyway, we're gonna check it out at five and 10 yards and then we're gonna see where it goes from there before we start shooting. All right, so here at five yards, we're just gonna do a quick pattern to see how well the Derringer is gonna do with these seven and a half shot shells and we're gonna just have an idea what the, uh, the pattern's gonna look like for us. Again, this thing is such a smooth loader, a lot better than some other piece of crap that I've shot before. But anyway, uh, so here at five yards, we're gonna have a look at it, see how that shot pattern is. All right, let's see how we did. So at about five yards, that's a pretty solid spread on there. So that might be good for sending a cloud up to hit some clays. So let's check it out at 10. All right, so at five yards, that's pretty solid. Uh, real big spread on there, so you can only imagine what's gonna happen here at 10. That's gonna spread out a lot more. But only one way to find out, and then we can get to shooting the clays. And predictably at 10 yards, the spread's even greater. The short barrel and the rifling, especially that rifling, is really throwing those BBs in every direction. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Okay, so why did I even bother doing that? I already knew it was gonna be spreading out like that. I already knew the Derringer isn't gonna be as good as a shotgun. But just for the fun of it, I kind of want to get an idea of what kind of challenge am I really looking at. So at 10 yards, predictably, with these things flying out of the hand, uh, I could probably still hit it, five yards definitely. I'm not gonna be throwing them out of a clay thrower because <laughs> they'd be gone way too fast and I'd never hit them and I'd just be wasting ammo. And as we all know these days, thanks to President Houseplant, yeah, ammo is not really a commodity that we can afford to waste. But anyway, so let's throw some clays. Let's have some fun with this. All right, guys. Well, we did all the science I guess we could on this. So let's take the bond arms out for what it can do, and let's shoot some clays. One thing I did notice when you're shooting shot shells out of this thing is uh, the following does build up rather quickly. I don't know if it's actually got higher tolerances, maybe because of the 45 Colt combination. I don't know, but every time I got to put the shot shells in after taking a couple shots, I got to kind of press it a little bit. So eh, might be something you have to keep in mind. Anyway, let's get them up in the air. a good one. Let's do another one. <laughs> so the clays are pretty fun. Actually kind of reminds me of a, a story that I heard. 
So a young man met a young girl and he grew very fond of her and eventually he began to love her very much. So the day came where he decided he wanted to ask for her hand in marriage, but first he had to ask the father. Now the problem with that is he didn't get along with the father, they didn't see eye to eye. So when he went to the father to ask for her hand in marriage, the father thought for a minute and shook his head and they said, well, you can't elope. Well, wasn't as effective as I expected. Well, raccoons would be happy, huh? Okay, well last but certainly least, <laughs> a viewer actually sent me this uh, neat little bulb thing. Uh, this is actually filled with uh, strained toilet water from a uh, company that I wouldn't drink their product even if they paid me. So, eh, still kind of a neat design though, should be fun to shoot. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. A <laughs> uh, little bit more action with the, uh, the Bond Arms Derringer here. So, yeah, kind of gives you a little bit of a wider look at, I guess, sport shooting, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> it's not practical at all in any way, shape, or form, but still fun to do. But anyway, uh, I know you guys have been asking about defensive loads out of this thing. I'm still working on it. Um, shells are kind of hard to come by these days, but stick around. I'll figure it out. But anyway, guys, this is a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time.